parish priest of Our Lady of Peña Fra, Peña Francia Parish, Manila, as we join the choir in singing the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You okay. came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who made the priest St. John Marie Vianney wonderful in his pastoral zeal, grant, we pray, that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, These are the festivals of the Lord, which you shall celebrate at their proper time with a sacred assembly. The Passover of the Lord falls on the 14th day of the first month at the evening twilight. The fifteenth day of this month is the Lord's Feast of Unleavened Bread. For seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. On the first of these days you shall hold a sacred assembly and do no sort of work. On each of the seven days you shall offer an oblation to the Lord. Then on the seventh day you shall again hold a sacred assembly and do no sort of work. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them, When you come into the land which I am giving you and reap your harvest, you shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest, who shall wave the sheaf before the Lord, that it may be acceptable for you. On the day after the Sabbath, the priest shall do this. Beginning with the day after the Sabbath, the day on which you bring the wave offering sheaf, you shall count seven full weeks, and then on the day after the seventh week, the fiftieth day, you shall present the new cereal offering to the Lord. <coughs> the tenth of this seventh month is the day of atonement, when you shall hold a sacred assembly and mortify yourselves and offer an oblation to the Lord. The fifteenth day of this month is the Lord's Feast of Booths which shall continue for seven days. 
on the first day there shall be a sacred assembly, and you shall do no sort of work. For seven days you shall offer an oblation to the Lord, and on the eighth day you shall again hold a sacred assembly and offer an oblation to the Lord. On that solemn closing you shall do no sort of work. These, therefore, are the festivals of the Lord on which you shall proclaim a sacred assembly and offer as an oblation to the Lord burnt offerings and cereal offerings, sacrifices and libations as prescribed for each day. The Word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 Our response is, Sing with joy to God our help. Sing with joy to God our help. Take up a melody and sound the timbrel, the pleasant harp and the lyre. Blow the trumpet at the moon, at the full moon on our solemn feast. Sing with joy to God our God. For it is a statute in Israel, an ordinance of the God of Jacob, who made it a decree for Joseph when he came forth from the land of Egypt. Sing with joy to God our God. There shall be no strange God among you nor shall you worship any alien god. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. Sing the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Please rise to honor the gospel. <laughs> from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James? Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Pwede po bang pakingitan yung katabi ninyo, pakisabi sa kanya, maswerte ka, ako ang katabi mo. <laughs> Sabihin nyo po. <laughs> Parang nahihiya kayo. Ulitin natin, maswerte ka, ako ang katabi mo ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been very painful for Jesus to be rejected by his own townmates. Hindi lang naman ito yung pagkakataon na na-reject si Jesus. One time he was uh, preaching to people and he was uh, he was telling people that he is the bread of life. At dumating yung punto hindi siya maintindihan ng mga tao. Iniwan siya ng mga nakikinig sa kanya ang natira sa harapan niya, yung kanyang mga alagad, and he asked a very painful question. Sabi niya, iiwan niyo na ba rin ako? Iiwan niyo na ba rin ako? It must have been very painful dahil itong si Jesus, kahit saan siya magpunta, sikat na sikat. He was known to be a miracle worker. Somebody who preaches well. He was known to heal the sick people, Marami siyang napagaling na mga may sakit, 
nakakita yung mga bulag, nakadinig yung mga bingi, bumuhay pa ng mga patay. At sa sarili niyang bayan ay tila itinaboy siya ng kanyang mga kababayan. Ano po yung pwede nating makitang dahilan bakit hindi siya tinanggap, bakit siya itinaboy? Tatlong bagay po. Una, dahil sa maliit na pagtingin sa kapwa. Sabi doon sa Ibangelo, hindi ba karpintero yan, anak ng karpintero yan? Hindi ba kapitbahay natin yan? Meron pong ganung tao eh, yung merong magandang pagtingin sa sarili kapag ka ng hamak ng ibang tao. He gets a, a good sense of self kapag ka minamaliit yung ibang tao. At kapag ka ginagawa po natin ito, kapag nang mamaliit tayo ng tao, itinataboy natin si Jesus. Ikalawang marahil, kaya hindi nila tinanggap si Jesus dahil sa inggit. Dahil sa inggit. Hindi nila mapaniwalaan na yung kapitbahay nila, kababayan nila, aba sumisikat, nakakagawa ng mga himala. At makikita po natin sa buhay, kapag ka inggit yung mamamayani sa puso natin, hindi tayo magiging masaya sa tagumpay ng iba. Hindi tayo magiging masaya sa kaligayahan ng iba. Ano po yung ginagawa ng inggit? Sa tuwing merong nakakaangat, pilit na hahatakin pababa. Kapag ka po inggit yung hinahayaan nating mamayani sa ating mga puso, itinataboy natin si Jesus. At ikatlo, ikatlo, at mahalaga po ito, hindi mapagtugma ng mga kababayan ni Jesus na kumikilos ang Diyos sa kapayakan ng araw-araw na pamumuhay. Hindi nila nakita na maaaring mangyari ang Himala kahit na sa mga simpleng pangyayari sa kanilang buhay. At minsan sa panahon natin ngayon, yan din yung pagkakaintindi natin sa Himala at pagkilos ng Diyos. Naghihintay tayo ng mga bongga at malalaking pagkakataon. Naghihintay tayo na sumayaw ang araw, umiyak yung, yung, yung imahin. Yun ang himala para sa atin. Nagkikwento po si Brother Bo Sanchez at marahil kilala, kilala niya po siya. Na at one point in his life ay naging member siya ng isang lay organization at tumira sila sa isang bahay. At kapag ka nakatira sa isang bahay, hati-hati ng trabaho. Ang una niyang trabaho ay maglinis ng CR. Kaya sabi niya, diring-diri daw siya dun sa kanyang trabaho. Sabi niya, kung sarili ko lang na CR yan, ay okay lang sa akin. Sabi niya, pero yung lahat ng kasama ko sa bahay, yun din yung CR na ginagamit. Sabi niya, may mga ibang tao kapag gumamit ng CR, nag-iiwan pa ng remembrance. Kaya diring-diri daw siya habang naglilinis siya. Pero sabi niya, ito na yung trabaho ko, ito yung contribution ko sa community. Sabi niya, gagawin ko ito ng mabuti. Kaya dumating sa punto sa buhay niya, habang naglilinis siya ng CR, kumakanta siya ng Shine Jesus siya. <laughs> habang pinakikintab niya yung CR. At nung masaya na siya sa trabaho niya, biglang inannounce na magbabago sila ng assignment, ang bago niyang assignment, maguhugas ng pinggan. So, ang unang araw niya ng paguhugas ng pinggan, patong-patong yung mga hugasin niya kasi mayroong malaking party doon sa kanilang bahay. At habang naguhugas siya, padabog siya naguhugas, napansin niya, parang pamilyar yung panghugas ng pinggan. Pumunta siya doon sa, sa may CR, binuksan niya yung paborito niyang cabinet, nawawala ang paborito niyang panglinis ng siya. At hindi pa raw niya sinasabi hanggang ngayon sa mga nakasama niya sa bahay na minsan ang pinanghugas niya ng pinggan ay ang paborito niyang panglinis ng siya. Sabi niya kapag ka daw kumatok siya sa langit at tinanong ni San Pedro, bakit kita papapasukin? Ano naman ang dahilan para papasukin kita sa langit? Sabi niya, baka naman nakakahiya na sabihin kung naging magaling akong lay preacher sa lupa o nagpagawa ako ng mga bahay ang punan at home for the age. Sabi niya, siguro sasabihin sa akin ni San Pedro, O, oh, come and enter the gates of heaven because you have cleaned that toilet every day with love in your heart. With love in your heart. 
kumikilos ang Diyos at sana makita natin ang Diyos sa pagkilos niya kahit na sa mga maliliit na bahagi ng ating buhay. Doon po sa Fiddler on the Roof, tinatanong nung lalaki yung kanyang asawa, mahal mo ba ako? Hindi siya sumagot kung oo o hindi. Ang sabi niya, naguhugas ako ng pinggan araw-araw. Ipinaglalaba kita ng damit araw-araw. Araw-araw, inaasikaso ko kayo ng ating mga anak. Hindi ba pagmamahal mo? Ang pagkilos ng Diyos ay hindi lang dun sa mga bonggang pagkakataon, kung hindi sa araw-araw ng karanasan ng pag-ibig. Ngayon pong araw na ito ay araw ng mga pari. Today is the feast of Saint Jean Marie Vianney. At uh, ngayon po ay nais kong hilingi na ipagdasal niyo po kaming mga pari. At gusto ko rin pong kunin itong pagkakataong ito na magpasalamat sa marami sa inyo sa pagmamahal ninyo sa mga pari. Una tatandaan niyo po yung isang magandang imahen sa lumang tipan in the Old Testament. Si Moises, kapag ka meron pong kalaban yung mga Israelita, kailangan niyang itaas yung kanyang kamay para magwagi sila dun sa laban. Pero dahil si Moises, napapagod din, dahan-dahan niyang naibababa yung kamay niya, nakakalo sila kapag ka naibaba niya yung kamay niya. Kaya ang ginawa ng dalawa niyang kaibigan, si Aaron at si Har, inawakan yung dalawa niyang kamay. Kaya hindi sila natatalo sa laban. At yan ito po yung buhay ng pare. Maraming pagkakataon po ay inaasahan yung kaming mga pare na maging halimbawa ng matatag na pananampalataya, ipagkasal kayo. Pero hindi niyo siguro po nalalaman na maraming pagkakataon sa inyo kami humuhugot ng inspirasyon. When I see lay people silently and uh, with, 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 with faith praying inside the church, lumalakas yung pananampalataya. Kapag nakikipagpwentuhan ako at naririnig ko yung mga karanasan ng pananampalataya, nandiliit yung pananampalataya ko dahil sa lakas ng pananampalataya ng mga nakakakwentuhan ko. Kapag kalinggo, nakikita ko yung mga mag-anak umuwi sa kanilang mga bahay, nakakaingit. Babalik akong mag-isa sa kumbento. Pero alam ko kahit masaya, dumarating din yung punto, nag-aaway yung mga mag-asawa, pero sabi ko, kahit nag-aaway sila araw-araw, sinisikap nilang maging tapat sa kanilang mga pangako nung sila'y ikinasahan. Kaya kami rin mga pare, dahil sa inspirasyong ito, ay sinisikap din namin maging tapat sa mga pangako namin nung kami ikinasahan. Nais ko pong magpasalamat sa marami sa inyo sa pagmamahal, sa pananalangin ninyo sa aming mga pare. Pero meron po akong hiling. Kakaunti po kaming mga pare kung meron po kayong anak, pamangkin, meron na bang may apo dito? Bulungan nyo naman po. <laughs> Lagyan nyo po ng prusano at bulungan ninyo, magpapari ka. Yung iba kasi, kapag kapangit yung anak, sasabihin, magpari ka na lang, hindi ka naman mga kapag-asama. Yung kaklasi ko po, isang araw, nagulat ako, nagbalot na, no? uuwi na raw siya, sabi niya, sayang lang ang kapugian ko kung magpapari lang ako. Wow. Ano kami mga pangit? <laughs> kung meron po kayong mga anak na bata, pakikrusan po sa noo, pakibulungan po at sabihin sa kanya, magpapari ka. Wala pong masihigit na maiaalay ang pamilya kundi isang pari sa pamilya. Alam niyo po nung inordinahan kami, Nilagyan po kami ng banal na langis na Christmas sa aming kamay. At pagkatapos kong lagyan ng ubispo yung aming kamay ng Christmas, mayroon pong isang maliit na tela na ibinibigay sa amin para po doon ipahid ang aming kamay. Ayon po sa tradisyon, yung tela ngayon ibibigay sa nanay ng pare. Alam niyo po, three years ago ng pumanaw ang nanay ko at bago po siya ilibing nilagay ko po sa kamay niya at alam ko po nung kumarap siya kay Jesus 
tinanong siya, binigyan kita ng buhay, anong ipinalit mo sa akin? Hindi niya na kailangan magsalita. Ipinakita niya yung telang maliit na marahil naninilaw na. Ibig sabihin nun, ipinigay ko sa iyo ang anak kong pahali. Pero alam ko naman kahit na wala yung telang yun na itatanggapin ang nanay ko sa langit dahil naging mabuti siyang nanay. Ang hiling ko po sa inyo, paki pagdasal niyo naman po na mas marami pa ang tumugon sa tawag na maging pari. Yung inyong mga anak, mga apo, krusan ng noo, ulungan, sabihin sa kanya, magpapari na. Wala nang masihigit na magiging handog ang isang pamilya kung hindi ang handog ng isang anak na pari sa Diyos at sa simbahan. Tumahimik po tayong sandali. Hilingin po natin sa Panginoon yung biyaya na makita natin at maramdaman natin yung kanyang pagkilos, lalo na sa kapayakan ng araw-araw nating buhay. Magpasalamat tayo sa Diyos sa biyaya ng mga pari na nagbinyag, nagpakumpisal, tumalo sa mga may sakit, naging bahagi ng ating mga pamilya. At hilingin natin sa Panginoon na huwag siyang magsasawa na magpadala ng mga pastol, magsugo ng mga pastol na kakalinga sa kanyang bayan. Amen. Let us all rise. Jesus was rejected by His own people. In faith, we accept Him as our Lord and Savior. We will all say, Jesus, let our lives honor You. Jesus, let our lives honor You. That the leaders of the Church may speak the Word of God with courage and live it with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, let our lives honor You that we may be strengthened to proclaim zealously and fearlessly the gospel message in our homes and neighborhood. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, let our lives honor you. That missionaries may be patient and not lose heart in sowing the message of God to unwelcoming places. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, let our lives honor you. That parents of handicapped children, those who care for the aged, and all those who are suffering at home or in the hospital may bear silent witness to the love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, let our lives honor you. That God may comfort those who are mourning over the death of their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, let our lives honor you. That there will be no obstacles to the Filipino staff's filing of the class suit on taxation with the proper courts and for God to bless and guide our lawyers who are now tasked to defend us. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, let our lives honor you. Brother, loving Father, listen to the prayers of your trusting people. Stay close to us and never let us be separated from the embrace of your love. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Blessed Jean Marie Vene, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. For us on the festival of St. John Marie Vianney, you bid your church rejoice. So do you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us love like Jesus, let us pray like Jesus. we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another the peace of Jesus. Peace be with you. away the sins of the world, blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. 
I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Jean Marie Fiennes, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Let us go and love like Jesus. Thanks be to God. Please stay for some announcements. I will see invite you to its 49th Lunch and Learn series this coming Thursday, 10th August, which also marks the 4th anniversary of the Lunch and Learn series. The talk is entitled, Peace in Our Hearts and Minds. Our guest speaker will be Reverend Father Jerry Orbos. It will be held here at Lecture Theater 2. Please bring at least two new friends to this event. The lunch table opens at 11.40 a.m. 
we would like to present to all of you LLC's statement of collections and expenses for 2016. Total collections stood at 1,066,658.35 and paid out expenses reached 1,039,821 as of the end of 2016. Almost half of the collection went to outreach activities including the ongoing Sulu Isla Puding Bato, Linga Priles, and Linga Mandiluyong among others. 21% was allocated for priests' stipend for masses and confessions. Other expense items included the Lunch and Learn series, mass supplies, the Mother 3.